opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and helps control the e4 square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. That was a free pawn. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. c5 gains space in the center and challenges the d4 pawn. It is the last book move. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is excellent. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a bishop. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. This blocks the attack on a knight that could have been captured. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is an inaccuracy. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is excellent. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.